Namaste everyone. Let's sit down in any seated comfortable posture, focusing on the breath for a few seconds. And very slowly we start to tilt head on the left side, stretching right arm to its right wall. Creating that gentle stretch for right side of the neck. Exhale and switching the sides. See how you can create a gentle stretch for left side of the neck. Keeping the focus on the neck. Exhale and release. Creating stretch for upper back, interlocking the fingers behind the back. Lifting chest up and try to move hands away from the body. Continue lifting chest and lifting hands backward. Keeping focus on the upper back. See if you can work on breathing through chest here. Next exhalation, releasing hands down and we come on all four, adjust your wrist and shoulder in line, taking a strong plank here, leaning on the hands, keep your fingers open nice and wide. And try to have knees completely straight. Trying to have toes light, squeezing the navel. Exhale and we lift hips upwards. Downward facing dog. Lifting heels off the floor and turning toes to right wall. Continue lifting hips high and this is our first twist. Keep moving butts towards your left wall and try to keep your knees straight. If it's too difficult, then we can have knee very softly bent. Let's come back to center and we switch the sides. Try and move butts towards right wall and see if you can move chest closer to your thighs. Squeezing the navel. Inhale, come back to center. We take a plank again. Keep your feet apart and we are turning toes to right side. And the same action, butts moving to left without moving your shoulder. Back to center. Exhale and switching the sides, toes to left and butts moving to right. Check only edge of your feet are on the floor. Navel is active. Back to down dog again. We look forward and start to walk. Both the legs forward between the hands. Keep knees softly bent. Inhale, we stretch the arms forward and up to a gentle backward bend. Lifting the chest up. Look up only if your neck feels alright. Come back to center. Exhale, we squat down all the way with arms straight. Look up if you can. Exhale, straighten the knee and we take a full forward bend. We'll do this few more times. Inhale, backward bend. Lift the chest. Take support from the knees. Softly bend. Back to center. Squatting down. Push the navel in. Straight arms looking up. Inhale, standing up. Exhale, forward bend. Nose to knee. Inhaling. Backward bend. See if you can go a little more back this time. Back to center. Exhale, squat down. Squeeze the navel. 
Inhale, stand up. Exhale, forward bend. You can have knee a little more bend if your abdomen is not touching the thigh. And here we are taking Utkatasana. Keep your hands slightly apart, away from each other. Lift the chest up. Exhale without moving hips. We are turning chest to right side. Left arm outside right knee. And stretch your right arm back. You can look up if your neck feels alright. Inhale back to center without moving hips again. Exhale and twist to left side. If you can push the navel in, twisting will be easier. We are still here for second round. Utkatasana. Check no change on the hip. Twisting to right side. Keep stretching that right arm backward. Inhale back to center. Check your knees are still bent and move to left side. Push that navel in. Feel free to look up if your neck feels alright. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend. Nose to knee. Now try to fix your hands or fingertips on the floor. Lift the chest up, creating stretch for the upper back. You can have knee very softly bend there. And we take a plank here, strong plank. Bring right knee to chest, lift that hip slightly high. And push knee to left elbow. Knee back to center. Plank. Left knee to chest. Keep breathing and move knee close to right elbow. Continue lifting knee close to chest. Exhale, plank. And you want to lower down to Chaturanga as slow as you can. People who are new to the practice can just drop knee, chest tension on the floor. Here, keep your legs slightly apart. Lift the chest up. Exhale and turn chest to right side. Forehead on the floor. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, turn chest to left side. We'll do this few more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, turning to right. Forehead down, keep breathing, lift the chest up and turn chest to left side. One more time. Inhaling, lift up, twist with exhalation, forehead down, no stress on shoulder, exhale, twist to left side and release. Now we are lifting the chest up to Bhujangasana with the feet together. Back issues can have legs apart. And if you are okay here, we are lifting hands one inch off the floor. Elbow closer. Knees are straight. And see if you can push your navel into the spine in this posture. If you can shift the focus, that will happen. Exhale, tuck the toes and let's lift up to downward facing dog posture. Let's have one deep breath here. Preparing for the plank twist again. Take a plank, right knee to chest. Move it close to left elbow and continue lifting hip high. Inhale, center. Back to down dog. Left knee to chest and we push to right elbow. Try to keep it a little more closer, keeping knee close to chest as well. Back to down dog. Inhale, right foot between the hands. We are dropping left knee on the floor, left toes pointing backwards. Hands on the hips. Try to have elbow close to each other. And if you are new to the practice, you can choose to stay here. Else, try to stretch arms up to ceiling. Straight elbow. Continue moving hips forward. Chest reaching back. 
and we want to look up if you can exhale bring palms on the chest lift hips slightly high and bring left elbow outside right knee checking thumb stays on middle of the chest and now continue twisting the spine this is a stage 1 for the beginners can stay here people who find this easy can look down somewhere close and try to straighten the back knee idea is to open up the chest continue twisting this was a second stage and people who find this comfortable can move to the next stage which is your left arm under right thigh stretch your right arm all the way back and see if you can interlock the fingers keep pressing back foot equally and now we try to open up chest towards ceiling look up only if you are balanced enough otherwise you can continue looking downwards If you can push your navel tightly, it will give you more balance. And remember to breathe in this posture. If you are here with the back knee on the floor, or if you are still in Namaskara Mudra with a twist, make sure you stay there. Continue breathing. We just want to focus on the twist at the moment. Now next exhalation very slowly look down and we drop hands on the floor adjusting back foot move it slightly forward keep left foot at 45 degree angle try to have both the knees straight join the palms together inhale and come up to gentle backward bend looking up exhale forward bends if you can touch hands on the floor inhale coming up to backward bend trying to go little more back exhale forward bend with a straight knee inhale one more time lift the chest and see if you can go little more back this time exhale and forward bend hands on the floor and let's start to create a deeper forward bend check the middle part of your chest should come on the right thigh elbows softly bend use your exhalation to push chin forward chin close to right chin is the final posture inhale and we look up left hand close to right foot inhale and we stretch right arm up to ceiling looking up only if you are balanced enough else look straight or look down knees are straight and let's focus on the breath every time you exhale we want to create a deeper twist now beginner can choose to stay in the previous twist and people who are okay here will look down somewhere close and lift back leg off the floor continue twisting with your upper body and continue looking down will give you more balance in this posture take a moment and see how you are breathing exhale hands on the floor and let's come back to plank here feet apart and we are turning toes to right side edge of the foot on the floor hips moving to left side inhale center exhale switching the side continue moving butts on the right side check how that twist feels around the waistline back to center exhale and as slow as you can we are going down to chaturanga or drop knee chest chin on the floor 
in hele lift the chest up straightening elbows this time looking up toes are pointed and try and move your chest forward and up at the same time exhale lower down and lift the hips high downward facing dog let's inhale it deeply here exhale it out look forward and we start to walk both the legs forward inhale coming up to backward bend lift the chest up look up exhale back to center and we squat down all the way inhale standing up exhale forward bend nose to knee inhaling try to go back a little more lift the chest exhale squat down push the navel look up inhaling straightening knee exhale forward bend inhale one more time lift the chest exhale squatting down inhaling knee straight exhale forward bend nose to knee inhale and we come back to utkatasana knee and hip almost in line lift the chest hands apart next exhalation we twist to right side pushing that navel right arm reaching up left arm outside your right knee inhale back to center without moving hips exhale chest to left side continue breathing inhale center second round exhale twisting to right make sure you push the navel in inhale center exhale twist to left side next inhalation back to center utkatasana exhale forward bend nose to knee fix your hands next to feet inhale and we we'll lift the chest up without moving hands look for the stretch on the upper back exhale walking legs back to plank leaning on hand bring right knee to chest again knee to left elbow pushing it closer to elbow inhale center back to plank and switch the side left knee to right elbow try and stay very light on the right toes center exhale and lower down as slow as you can going down all the way legs apart inhale lift the chest and we twist on the right side look over to your left heel center for head down lift the chest exhale twist to left side and let's continue second round twisting right inhale lift exhale left side center one more time exhale twisting center exhale twist to left side and center inhale and we we'll lift the chest up again to bhujangasana checking your toes are more active here try to have knees off the floor and if you can hands are 1 inch off the floor pushing the navel in exhale and let's lift up to downward facing dog take a deep inhalation here exhale through mouth completely if you are tired here you can drop your knees down to child's pose just for a moment and we start with the twisted plank again right knee to left elbow squeeze the navel 
exhale down dog switching the side back to plank left knee to right elbow try to push it as close as you can to elbow and to chest down dog take a deep inhalation again and this time we are preparing for left side inhale left foot between the hands right knee on the floor Anjaneyasana. We start with hands on the hips, elbow closer. You can choose to stay there with hands on the hip. Just focus on opening chest. And if you are okay, we are raising arms up to ceiling. Continue lifting chest up and backward at the same time. Exhale, back to center, palms on the chest. Bring your hips slightly up and we move right elbow outside left knee. If you can slide your elbow down, try to bring shoulder outside the knee. And beginners will stay here. People who are okay will lift back knee off the floor. Try and have your back knee straight as much as you can. And use your exhalation to open up your chest to left side. And people who are finding this easy will move right elbow under left thigh. Straighten that left arm and push it backwards. Your arms can just stay around your back as well if you can interlock the fingers or if you can grab your wrist. You want to do that and continue opening chest. Again, whichever stage you are, we want to just focus on twisting the spine. So, continue breathing and continue turning chest to left side. Right, Very slowly, exhale, hands on the floor. Straightening that back foot, bring it slightly more forward. Joining palms together with both the knees straight. Inhale and we'll lift the chest up. Start with a gentle backward bend. Exhale, hands on the floor. Inhaling, backward bend. Going a little more back, look up if you can. Exhale, forward bend. Again, try to have knee straight. Inhaling, lift the chest up a little more back. Exhale and we go down. Forward bend. Hands next to left foot, adjusting the spine. And let's start to bend elbows to move chin close to left shin. Remember to squeeze the navel. And to keep the knees straight, continue lifting hips high. We are staying here. One more breath. Inhale, looking up. Check right hand is close to left foot. Exhale and we twist to left side. Checking hips will stay in one line. Left arm is reaching up. And continue straightening the knee. If you can lift left hip a little more high, that will help you to keep the knee straight. Beginners can stay there and people who are okay here will continue twisting. And slowly lift your right leg off the floor this time. Balancing on left leg. Continue looking down or to your side wall will give you more balance. Take a moment and see how you are breathing as you try to balance on one leg and twisting together. Next exhalation. Releasing leg, 
hands on the floor downward facing dog take a deep inhalation here exhale to plank feet apart and we are turning toes to right side check only edge of the foot stays on the floor hands in line with the shoulder inhale center exhale toes to left side continue breathing and continue twisting if you can shift your butts a little more on the right side you will feel that extreme twist one more breath exhale and we go down to chaturanga drop your chest on the floor inhale and we lift up to upward facing dog lift the chest up and if you find that easy you can also come on the fingertips to create that deeper backward bend exhale lower down and push up to downward facing dog all right let's take one deep breath here and we bring right knee between hands stretching that left leg back and this right knee your right ankle will stay in one line drop your elbows on the floor and if you find that easy you want to stretch arms forward dropping forehead on the floor if this is difficult for you you can also keep a pillow in front of you and you can drop head and arms on the pillow a little higher support will help you relax the upper body and at the same time we are working on hip opening right inhale come back to center now move right hand towards your right wall and your left elbow is outside your right knee check your left elbow is pointing towards your front wall no change on the hip and now use your right hand to open up chest towards your right side continue looking down preferably or straight and just continue turning chest to right side you will feel it mostly around your lower back exhale come back to center bring right heel close to left thigh left foot outside right knee push that left knee closer and either bring right elbow around your left knee or elbow outside your left knee like how how i'm doing it here your left hand is behind the back on the floor twisting the spine and people who find this easy can move left arm around the back try to catch your right thigh and your right hand can hold left ankle only if you are flexible enough or if you find the previous position easy else just focus on twisting remember to lengthen the spine before you twist let's spend few more breaths here and as we exhale releasing left leg all the way back tuck the left toes hands on the floor and come back to downward facing dog posture right let's switch the sides left knee between hands check your right leg is active left knee and ankle in one line you can just stay on the elbows or you can drop the head on pillow and if you are comfortable we are stretching arms forward try to push your hips down towards floor keeping the back leg straight 
and let's breathe here. Next inhalation, coming back to center, left hand is moving to left side and move right elbow outside left knee. Right. Continue turning chest, checking the breath and checking back leg is still active. Breathing through chest. Let's take one more breath here. Exhale, come back to center. And we are preparing for Ardha Madhsendrasana. Check your right knee is on top. Bring left elbow outside. Right knee or it can just stay around the right knee. Right hand goes back. Exhale and we twist. You can hold your right ankle only if you are comfortable in the previous posture. And if you are still steady, move your back hand, your right arm around the back. Make sure you are not rounding the back while doing this. Else it's better to take support from the right hand, keeping it on the floor. And now let's focus on the twist with exhalation. Next exhalation, releasing the posture. Straighten the legs and we are moving on to Parivritta Janu Shirshasana. So we bend right knee and open up that right hip, pushing right knee to extreme right corner. Your right foot is touching the left thigh. Drop your left hand next to left foot. Or if you can grab the left foot, you want to do that with the left hand. And slowly move right arm over your head. Use your exhalation to reach down towards your left foot with both the hands. If your right arm is still over the head, that's absolutely fine. Do this under your limit. Wherever you are, we want to hold the posture and focus on the breath. We continue turning the chest to right side and we also want to turn chest upward towards ceiling. Breathing through chest. Let's take one more breath here. Exhale, lower down the body towards floor and slowly release the posture. I'll show you posture from the front now. We are switching the side, so bend your left knee, open up that knee to extreme left corner. Check left foot is touching the right thigh. Slide your right arm down or you can try holding your right foot. Leaning towards right foot with your upper body and with your left arm. Remember left arm can just stay over the head. Keep exhaling and keep reaching 
towards your right foot. Opening chest. It's a twist and side stretch together. So make sure you work on opening the chest as well. Let's have eyes closed here and we focus on the breath. We take one more breath. Exhale, lower down towards floor and slowly releasing the posture. Right, the kidneys bend, feet on edge of the mat. Fix your feet and drop both the knees to right side. Your left knee is touching right foot. Move your arms back. And stretch your arms backwards towards your extreme right corner. So your knees are moving towards your right side. And upper body is reaching towards your extreme back right corner. Elbows softly bend. Shoulders relaxed. We just want to focus on the breath. Right, let's take one more breath. Exhale, walk your hand back, coming back to center. Switching the sides, checking feet are still apart. Dropping knees to left side. Turn around and move upper body towards your extreme left corner. Remember to keep upper body relaxed. You can bend the elbows a little more. You can also turn face towards one side. Relaxed breathing. One more breath, exhale and slowly coming back to center, lying down on the back, checking your neck space is relaxed, hands on the knees and start to move both the knees towards the side wall, creating a circle on the opposite direction. Open up the knee to side wall and bring it together. Let's do that a few more times. Knees together now, hands on the floor. And imagine you are creating a circle with both the knees. Toes are pointed. Clockwise circle five times. And anti-clockwise five times. Massaging the lower back. Switching the sides now, anti-clockwise. A 
Hugging the knees tightly. Just check how that feels on the lower back. And we are ready to settle down in Shavasana. Adjusting legs, keep it wide. Check all the joints are relaxed. Lower back, relaxing. Take a moment and see how the practice felt on the entire body, on the mind. Enjoy your Shavasana. I will see you in the next video. Take care.